Welcome to Equip2, uh, we're here in the workshop. Uh, I'm Paul Thompson and today we're going to be running over the CBI 5800 horizontal grinder. So here we are, um, this is the main control panel, or the PCL board. Um, so this is where you sort of start your operations at the beginning of the day. Um, open up in here, as you'll see, really easy touch tone screen in there. Gives you all the identification modules that you'll need in order to run the machine. Also, we come in standard with a factory remote as well. Um, so same again, all your primary functions are being able to operate it from the remote, from the cab of your feeding machine. So this machine here with all the options on it um, is specifically designed for a lot of transport needs. So it weighs in at just over 31 tonne and that's with all the options on it. Um, come standard with some heavy duty Burco track systems as well. Um, so manoeuvrability and speed of tracking is really high for a machine with this much output. Uh, total width on the machine is just a fraction over 2.5, so 2.54 metres wide. Feature of the CBI machines is the time and effort they've put into their hydraulic and electrical functions. Um, so all the wiring and on this machine is a one piece wiring, so uh, really easy to diagnose any issues that, that can arise. Um, so fault findings and uh, fixing those to get up and running again, really easy. Uh, so just here at the infeed, um, great feature of the machines, obviously fully welded systems in here. Uh, so all AR450. Um, so using a high steel grade, um, this area does tend to get bashed around a little bit with your log and your entry feed. Um, so measures have been taken in order to make sure that that's as strong as possible. Here is going to be coming in. Um, as you can see, really nice. Uh, so just over 1,200 for your width in the base, and then with four heavy duty drag chains. Um, so what these chains do is bring your material into the top feed roll. Top feed roller here actually does a lot of the work for the machine. So it takes it down and feeds it into the rotor. Um, there's some differences in the teeth systems here. So some have a hook on them, which is to drag the timber in and to grab it. And then other ones are in a straight, like an equilateral sort of triangle. And that holds the timber up from being thrust into the rotor too hard and blocking it up. This is where the rubber hits the road. Um, so the rotor is a key reason why the CBIs are well renowned within the industry as being a high production machine. Um, as you'll see, we've got a helical design of our tip spacings and an angle across the rotor. So what this does for you is, is at any one given time, these tips are taking the full horsepower of the engine through that tip into the product. Um, that just uh, adds a lot of grunt to it. Um, what it also does is, it helps move the timber along, um, so you get a nice even feed through and wear um, through your tooth systems. Uh, you'll see here, the tooth system here, it's the uh, patented CBI replacer face. So it's got a little notch in here, so your tooth system, there's one going down as well for the notches. Um, undo the bolt at the back side, put your tooth on, locks it in there, and then just fizz that bolt up again. So uh, really fast to do any changes that you need to do um, if you're going to change uh, your tooth seat, uh, system, so what you want to be using. The rotor is, is a 40 inch diameter. Um, it's really important for that. Um, uh, increases your tip speed um, and then also your inertia so as it's spinning around um, the more weight on that because it's higher in diameter um, the better off it is so to take large impacts um, it'll just carry on through that motion um, so this rotor here will will be spinning at around 1440 rpm uh, as you all know um, with this thing moving so fast um, bringing in foreign objects or tramp metal as an example um, can be a really big issue for these things so um, what we've got we've got two two ways of, of trying to mitigate that uh, so one is, is a full MDS system um, which picks up a vibration of any tramp metal onto the rotor and um, the sensitivity of this can be uh, raised and lowered so that's a really good good point to make out um, and then what that will do is it'll actually shut this down um, raise up the the hog box behind me and then eject backwards on the chains so you can find that tramp metal um, and carry on producing. So this one here is set up with a 3x5 and that will affect um, the part size of particle that you have egressing out the other side. You can change these screens in a matter of minutes, uh, just a matter of pulling out this pin here on each side and then sliding the screens up. So really easy to change. Um, some guys will go through with a larger screen meter at first when they're doing a grind um, and then they might do a secondary grind. So there's a primary and a secondary. Um, just depends on what sort of product that you are looking to make. Uh, so for the 54 and 5800 series of the CBIs, they run a clutchless system. Um, so what that means is, is upon startup, you start the engine. Um, this cylinder here will disengage the, the drive belts from the motor by sliding the engine. And it will slowly come through in a series um, of engaging directly the belts 
um, until the rotor is functioning up at revs. So this is the large flexi air fan. Um, it has an automatic purging system as well, so reversing that fan to blow out the crap that does build up. Uh, this keeps it running cool and efficient. So just behind here, um, we have an electric start compressor unit. Um, really handy to have on board with these machines. A uh, number of reasons, one is plug your air hose into here um, for blowing the machine down. Um, always good in these sorts of environments with wood chip. The other really good feature about them is, is uh, to use your air guns um, to change your knife systems out. So they do require a bit of grunt to take them off. So those air guns are really effective. Here we are in the engine bay. Um, so this particular unit has been brought out with a Scania DC-16 engine. Uh, around 760 horsepower. Um, the other option for them is the CAT C18 and around that 765. This is the discharge belt. Um, so as you can see, nice and wide, gets a really good throw off it. Um, so this belt can move up to 250 meters per minute. Um, so it can get the product going really well. Uh, also fit it off with a magnetic head drum. Um, so what that does is, is if you're pulling up some small bits of metal, whether that be nails or whatever it may be, they'll hook up onto that mag belt and then drop down on the underside uh, onto the pan and then out of your piles. The discharge height of this is just over a shade over 4.67 metres, so get a really good height. Um, gives you the ability for loading trucks directly as well. With the uh, high speed and the throw of material, end loading is a capability of this machine as well. One of the first things that people notice and comment about around the CBI is that it's all around build quality. Um, so that's around the materials that I've used. Um, I can just highlight one example here, which is around the rotor bearing configuration. So this machine, the 5800, um, has oversized bearings um, and all the points through here are line board as well. So they run the same bearing systems as they do in the 6800 machine, um, which are capable of north of 1,000 horsepower. Um, so you'll see the spider bearing set up in here. Um, so here's your housing and all these welding plates giving that a really nice tight configuration. And then, and then post welding, we're line board through there. So makes maintenance really easy um, for fitment for bearings, etc. And uh, just an overall longevity in that system. That area gets a real, uh, real working over. So that's a little bit about the CBI 5800 high speed grinder. Um, there's a lot to know about these machines and there's so many different configurations that we have available to us, whether they be wheeled, chipping functions, grinding functions, static electric. Uh, for more information, please give us a ring at Equip2. Thank you.